sad because my Thanksgiving plans just fell through the roof. Not happening because of COVID. I'm staying home because of COVID. But I'll get a lot of work done and I'll get a lot of studying done and I'm going to look at the silver lining that I'm going to get all these things done. So with the reading, the first thing you get is the six of Swords. Now we're going to flip this over because it's upside down, which we know means it's water down. And this person, which is basically you, is being helped over to the other side by this person. And you get these six swords in front of you, but they're protection. They're not behind you and they're not chasing you. They're protecting you. And if you see over here, you're leaving the muddy waters and the rough waters to go into clear waters to go towards something even though you're sad and bittersweet because you're leaving something behind it's really a good thing that you're leaving behind it's good that you're moving on to this new place and i know last week you in the last few weeks you've been getting some things that, that are kind of negative and i think you're moving towards something really positive right now the next card we get is the two of wands. Wands. We're gonna once again. It's reversed. So flip it over. And this card says that you you're gonna have some travel coming up, but you also are starting to because you know he's looking out to sea. But this card also says the world is his oyster. So things are good that are starting to happen for you. You're still having to look for them. They're not quite there yet because it was reversed but it's coming towards you. However, your attitude could be better because you are feeling bound up. You're feeling like you have no choices. You, because you're not happy about, cha about these changes, you're not seeing all the good that's happened from it. It's coming from it. And so you're feeling bound up. You're feeling like you have no choices. You're not feeling like you have any freedom. And this card tells me you need to work on that. You need to work on seeing that silver lining once again. Like my silver lining in not going home for Thanksgiving. Now you get the world, which is like the best card ever. We're going to flip it over. It's reverse. This card says that you got the world at your feet. Everything's going to good is happening for you. You're going to get what you want. It was reversed. So it's still not quite here. You're still working on it, and it's not as strong as you'd like, but it's coming. And now we get the Six of Pentacles. And this is a card about being generous. See, he's sharing with people. I think, in this case, that you need to be more generous with yourself. I'm not talking about money, necessarily, but with your time, with your joy, with your pleasure, because I think that you've been working way too hard. And that's not necessarily a good thing. And I think that you've been oh, too hard on yourself. And you need to stop that. So I'm going to pull another card. I want to know more about how you feel bound up. And this card is saying that if you work through that being bound up and you start taking back your personal power... You're going to have joy in home life. See, he's got everything he wants on an emotional level, but he had to work through that. So now I pulled, I'm pulling some cards from the spell casting Oracle deck. The first card I get is travel. I definitely see some travel in your future. You are going to be doing some traveling. I don't know if it's big travel or small travel, but there's definite travel. And if you see there's a moon above and if there's a light there, it's good travel. It's not bad travel. The next card I'm pulling is trust. Learn to trust yourself. Yeah, I know. That's really tough. And finally, truth. Learn to dwell in your truth. Even if that means just 
meditating and sitting with things and just asking spirit to show you why these things are happening the way they're happening. Sometimes things just don't seem to be quite what we want them to be, but sometimes they're for our best good. I'm holding up this card again. This is the Six of Swords. I'm pulling a card for it. This card is the Ace of Wands. It's reversed again, lots of reversals. But the Ace of Wands is about starting something new and having joy out of it. Everything that I get for y'all tells me that what you're moving towards is really good. Yes, leaving something behind is bittersweet. Sometimes it's hard. It's not Walt Whitman, it's, I can't remember, the poet. No, nothing can bring back the glory of the splendor in the grass. Glo something in the flower. More not, rather find strength in what remains behind. That's what that's telling you. You have everything you need to make it through, and you're almost at the end of it. But And you're going to get everything you want. But you've got to be generous with yourself. And you have to finish it up. And you have to have a good attitude. But trust that spirit's got your back. Trust that you're going to come out of this ahead. Trust that it's going to be good for you. If you want to do a private reading, send me a text to 405 512-9400 and go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube page so that you'll never miss a video. Bye.